Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today it is a charity shop haul, as you will have seen from the title, but it's not just any charity shop haul, it's a vintage charity shop haul. So this is comprised of stuff that I've bought over the last couple of weeks, and it's vintage. And I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited to show you what I've got because there's, I'm looking at it here before I talk to you and there's some absolutely lovely pieces and a couple of things I'm just so pleased with and really excited to show you. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. First up, this is an absolutely blinding find. I'm so happy to find this. It's this gorgeous pair of shoes. Let's just hold them up so you can see them properly. The reason I'm so happy with these is because firstly they're size 9 which fit my enormous feet. I'm trying not I'm trying not to be quite so self-deprecating. So enormous yet well proportioned feet. <laughs> anyway, these I think are fabulous and the reason I think they're fabulous is because they have a low heel so they're comfortable for someone who hasn't worn heels in well over 2 years, probably even longer than that. Um, they are wide fitting, they are comfortable, they're, they're leather, so they're really nice quality. In fact, let me show you the soles as well. And obviously the price stick is still on there, but you can see that I don't think they've ever been worn. The, the, they're in absolutely immaculate condition. They're a lovely grey colour, and I must confess, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know I like to paint... paint <laughs> you know I like to paint my shoes. I was considering painting these, especially because they've got this lovely strap detail. I thought it'd be really good to have some contrasting colours there, maybe black and white, maybe something else. But actually, the longer I've left them as grey, the more they have grown on me. And so, for now at least, they're going to stay grey because they, they are actually quite a versatile colour and they'll go with a lot of things. They are super, super comfortable, which is really the ultimate in a shoe for me because I've got the aforementioned larger and wider feet. Um, I've spent most of my life being really uncomfortable and tightly pinched into shoes. And these are just, they're like a hug for your feet. <laughs> so nice. So I'm really, really pleased with them. The brand's interesting, it's, it's Earth, which is I think American brand because I couldn't find a UK website. And they, if I remember rightly, the prices of their shoes were between 60 and 100. I couldn't find a comparative style to this to be able to say how much these would have been. But I do know I got them for 6.99 as per, there you go. For the size, they've put a nine question mark because I guess they don't know. It doesn't actually say on there, but they do fit my feet and I'm a nine. Anyway, 6.99 for these. And this is the exact style I've been looking for, kind of, are they 40s perhaps? And I, sh I should probably caveat, these are not true vintage, they look vintage, so maybe they're more retro. Oh, I like this. I've just read the, there's a little bit of information on the inside, it says they're leather upper, and the colour is described as blue admiral, which actually, it's it's definitely, it's, it's definitely a grey. I'm super, super pleased with these. I can't wait to style them off. I think they're going to look great with a load of outfits and add a real, um, a real vintage twist to them, which is great. Oh, 6 .99, what an oh, dropped it. 6 .99, what an absolute bargain. I'm so pleased with that. <laughs> Next up, we have a slightly more unusual part of the haul, and this is four items. They are vintage. They're, they're just very unusual. So I uploaded a short a couple of weeks ago, and in it, I showed that I went to a charity shop, and they had this beautiful old chest of drawers. It looks very antique, very beautiful. And the drawers were slightly open, and when I had a look, I perused through the drawers, they were absolutely stuffed full of vintage fabrics and vintage silk ties and all sorts. So I had a good old rummage and then the lady behind the counter told me they actually did it for that purpose because they know people love to go rummaging, so that was awesome. And I found a few silk ties. Now obviously women generally don't wear ties, but I thought I could get a few vintage silk ties. They're lovely quality. And I thought I'd style them up in a few different ways to give a, a different twist on an outfit for women. So let's just get straight into it. The first one is a brown tie. I love this. It's brown tie with orange and I absolutely love this color palette. 
I remember doing some sort of printing like this when I was in primary school, and that was a long time ago, but I, I've got a feeling it might be petite. But it's it's slightly textured, it's lovely, I absolutely adore this. If you've seen my channel before, you'll know I like oranges and browns and autumnal colours, and so this just speaks to me, I really like it. It was 2 dollars it's just fabulous. It's gonna go with a lot of my uh, wardrobe because I do like these colour hues, so it's gonna be interesting styling those up. So that's that one. This next one isn't a silk tie. I've just looked on the back and it's actually polyester. <laughs> but anyway, I still really like it. So look at this. Let me show you. Hopefully you can see the texture in the pattern. I really, really like this one because I thought, you know, everyone's heard of black tie, but occasionally I see white tie invitations. Not that I necessarily get invited to any white tie do's. But I thought this would be really cool to style up because it will go with so many other patterned outfits. But also I've got a tuxedo jacket and I'm really looking forward to just whacking this on with a tuxedo jacket and creating a whole look. So this one I'm also looking forward to styling. These last two are my favourites because they, they are silk, they feel amazing, but they are so quirky. <laughs> They're just so bizarre. So mm, which one shall I show you first? I think we'll go for this one. Before I, re before I show you it, it's got a label on the back that says Creative American Design, Allen Neckwear, Stamford, Connecticut. And it, I think it's even got a phone number on the back. I'm not sure. It's probably not. It says Ex Libris Allen Neckwear. And look at this. Oh, just... absolutely love this i just ha i have this dream let me just hold it up whilst i'm talking i have this dream that when i win the lottery i can buy this rambling old victorian villa and one of the rooms will be a dedicated library with the little ladders where you can kind of scurry up to the top shelf to get your books and this just reminds me of that so much oh i love it look at it it's so cool i mean i don't know what the duck is all about that's quite curious ducks are not synonymous with libraries in my mind it also has, oh, I can't read it. It also has a little trophy, which is quite cool. Um, there is something printed on it, but it's it's just squiggles. You can't actually read it. I thought that would be a quite quite a cool detail if it did have a name on there or something like that. And actually, you can see there's there's a second one there. So it the print is repeated all the way down. But yeah, it's just fabulous. Might style this up as a kind of librarian look. That's a fairly obvious one, what with the books on the tie, of course. Or maybe I'll do an academia style outfit, like dark academia or light academia. I'm not sure yet, I'll have a think, but I'm so excited. Isn't it funny how much something as straightforward as clothes can bring you joy? I think because it allows you to be creative, it just unlocks that part of me that makes me so happy. <laughs> so anyway, this final tie, oh, I love anything time travel and this just, it screams time travel, all, also punctuality, I suppose, with <laughs> all of the clocks. But look at this, hopefully you can see, oh yeah, you can. So it's this gorgeous dark blue and there are time pieces all over it. It's from Marks and Spencer's, it says 100% silk and it just feels fabulous. It's <laughs> sorry, it's really soft and I love the pattern. So. I don't know, would Doc Brown from Back to the Future have worn something like this? I think not, to be honest, but I might go for a kind of wild scientist look, who knows? Or maybe something more chic, but I have options anyway. So those are my four ties. They were 2 99 each, just in case I forgot to say that at the start. So I spent nearly £12 on ties and oh, maybe that's a bit weird because how often am I going to wear a tie? I don't know, but I've got the options now. I absolutely love the ones I bought. They had loads to go through, lots and lots of different patterns and colours. Um, there was one with a huge fish on, which absolutely loved, but it was a fish that had been caught so you could see the hook coming out of its mouth. And I don't know, it just, it just doesn't really speak to me. If it was a fish leaping out of the water because it was high on life, <laughs> maybe it would be different. But I'm not a big fishing fan, so I left that one. I do still think about it, but the moment has passed. <laughs> This next piece will be no surprise to people who've watched this channel before. It's another pearl necklace. And the reason I buy so many is because I just love them. And I remember the episode of Sex and the City where Carrie went out and she had a thousand pearl necklaces on. And whilst I don't want to look at overloaded, I do think that's quite a cool look. So I bought it. It's really quite heavy, which is surprising. Um, one of you commented on a previous video to say you can find out if pearls are real by putting them against your teeth and if they're real, they'll feel gritty. Um, I think that's good advice. I just can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm gonna say they're not real, 
but they feel they feel quite weighty they're a lovely color and i just love them so they are so versatile they go with so many outfits and they really add a touch of class and elegance in my humble opinion so i'm really pleased with those and two, uh, two pounds as well bargain right it's time to get on to some clothes so this first piece absolutely love it I have been eyeing it up in our local hospice branch for weeks now because it was £20 and as much as I do want to donate money I couldn't quite justify spending £20 on this item but then I went in this week and they had reduced it half price to £10 and so it was mine it's this fabulous red coat now obviously it, it's very long so I'm gonna have to show you in the try on portion so you you get an idea of the color it's a hundred percent pure wool it feels lovely it's really warm it's really fitted so it's from Richards the label looks really old it's Richards Petites and actually I'm, I'm getting on for six foot but it fits me really well and the the cut works well it doesn't feel like my waist should be much higher hundred percent pure wool which is fabulous made in the UK it's a lovely heavy weighted coat and when I bought it I took it up to the counter and they said they were just about to create a Valentine's Day display with that coat as the centerpiece because it's very 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 red and I mean I felt a bit guilty buying it it was just so silly <laughs> but anyway I'm really looking forward to trying this on and showing you because it's just oh it's just gorgeous <laughs> This is the penultimate piece. Um, I'm disappointed in this. I think it can come good, but I am a bit disappointed. It's a Jerry Weber skirt, and I absolutely adore the print. Let me just show you so you can see. Dark red skirt, tiny little detail print. I love it, it's really cool. It's, um, it's slightly gathered around the waist and it's got belt loops as well, so you can thread a belt through. The only problem is it's pleated at the top, but then at the bottom it drops out. And I can't figure out how to sort it out. I've washed it a couple of times. I've dried it hanging up because I thought the pleats would reform and they haven't. And it just looks like I've slept in it. It's really frustrating. So if you've got any tips on how I can restore the pleats, then please do let me know because I love this skirt. It was only 3 99 so again, a bargain, but I can't, I just don't want to wear it unless I can get the pleats really crisp. If I'm honest, if I have to iron them in, then it's a no-go. I'll just redonate it because I've got no time to iron pleats into skirts every time I want to wear them. Who's got the time for that? If you can, if you can save my relationship with the skirt, please do. You'll be an absolute lifesaver. Thank you. <laughs> Full disclosure, this final piece I'm sure is not vintage, but I got it really recently and it fits in with the, the haul, especially the colour palette, actually, of the last few things I've shown you. And I freaking love it. Look at this. It's a really eclectic blazer. Just going to show you it's slightly quilted it's slightly embroidered it's so textured and i love the colors that they've chosen for this just oh just look at that so we've got let me just go through it we've got orange we've got red we've got burgundy we've got brown we've got a little bit of black bit of white we've got some pink as well it's just this is what i like personified it's fabulous the blazer was from another branch of the same hospice shop that I went into and it was also 3 99 and oh it just it brings me so much joy I think because it's so it's so eclectic it feels amazing it looks amazing and I'm going to set myself a challenge I'm going to make a video shortly of as many different ways to style this as I can because it's so quirky I think it would be a really interesting challenge to see how many outfits I can put together that it goes with and maybe it'll give you guys a bit of inspiration as well that if you've got something that almost looks like a standalone piece there are lots of different ways that you can style it up <laughs> Okay, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.